Hey, good morning, everybody. Danny Shea in his bathrobe because it's early. It's early, early, early. Thank you all for joining me. I don't know when I'm going to get this up. Got a busy day today. But thank you for joining me. Thank you for your subscribing. If you haven't, please do. Um, hope you guys are feeling good. All right, so uh, today, later on today, I'm going to be on Dr. Uh, Gail Skywalking with the Moons show. We're going to find out once and for all, am I really an alien? I'm like, no, might be an ET. Anyway, um, what else is going on? Oh, Friday, I'm going to be on uh, Sherry Voices from the Swamp. I'm going to be on her show, her channel, with Juno. And that's going to be fun on Friday, so look for that. What else? What else? What else? Um, mm, okay, I think that's it. So this is a leftover show. Let's go into leftovers. Thank you guys for um, giving me a lot of questions for for um, the gnome show which is always fun but we didn't get to any of your questions <laughs> like hey I, I got a whole bunch of questions here but they they were off so anyway let's go on to read your questions leftovers gnome show leftovers mm. tasty all right be kind she wants to talk about Texas. Number one, I'm thinking that's not very kind of her to say, read on Texas, that dark energy. Sorry. I told you it was early. Okay, here we go. Will Paxton, will the Senate convict? I'm going to switch decks because that is my Lightseer's Tarot and... <clears throat> I'm like, uh, that deck is too pretty and too nice to read on um, Paxton. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Even though my other cards, so I'm using my fountain deck, and they don't want to shuffle with Paxton either because... So, for all you guys that don't know, Ken Paxton is the Attorney General for uh, Texas. He has been um, in with January 6th. I think he was speaking at January 6th on stage, I think. So hard to keep track of all these knuckleheads. And, um, not that I want to, and um, he's... He has been in legal trouble before, and he's always kind of shifting things around, sliding through. He's been one of those magician people who skirt the law. You know what I'm saying? And um, so he was, I just lost the word, uh, Texas impeached him. But they have the same impeachment process as the federal government. So Congress, the state House of Representatives impeached him. And now it goes to the Senate to see if he gets kicked out. But he can't work until the Senate figures this out. And it's weird because... It's not weird. It's Texas. It's Texas because... He has been calling up his Republican colleagues and threatening them. Oh, that's no good. One thing you don't want to do, at least in, in my experience, you don't want to threaten a Texan. You just don't want to do it. I mean, that's stupid. I don't want to call anybody stupid, but that's stupid. Okay, Ken Paxton. The 
question is, is the Senate, have you pissed off enough people in the Senate that they are going to convict you? And I think he has. So let's just see. See what the cards have to say about this. Ken Paxton, have you upset enough people in the Senate that they are going to impeach you as well? That is a yes card. Ace of Pentacles. I'm just going to pull six on this because it will change. We have the Two of Cups. This deck, <clears throat> Fountain deck, um, this, this is a pretty dark Two of Cups, isn't it? Um, the Fountain deck, it's got two hands coming together and there's a rainbow falling into two cups. It's beautiful. This is a little dark. This is the relationships have left the building kind of like Elvis yep so I'm I'm seeing there is no love lost here I think he's threatened too many people oh that's no good so we got two aces this is the ace of wands but this ace of wands new information coming out this looks like the double-edged sword this looks like the ace of swords but it's the ace of wands there's no new growth here it's just shiny clean two edges sharp so whatever way he goes slice and dice and i'm not getting a good warm feeling for him yeah because he's underwater juggling the two of pentacles and this is all about him juggling money back and forth all about that and at the top of the reading is the sun illumination are they going to impeach him that is a definitely a yes card and the potential near future the ace of cups again an emotional new start so yeah i mean how many aces could i pull in here this is weird. I mean, I shuffled this. I got three aces. I got two twos, two of cups, two of pentacles, and then the major arcana is the sun. Yeah, I think they're going to impeach him, which is weird because it's a Republican Congress. It's a Republican Senate. That boy did something really stupid because it's hard it's really hard to be impeached by your own party especially in Texas I would think all right so let's look at the favorite governor of Texas Abbott and I think I'm going to throw in Cruz in there, too, because I think they're all going to get caught up in it. I was talking to Nancy Jean uh, yesterday about, we mentioned this, and she, she was going, oh, yeah, he's going. And they're getting good people to run up against him. Um, the Democrats are getting good people to run against these MAGA Republicans. We're going to talk about Missouri a little later. Mr. Hawley. I don't know if I talked about it in the Gnome Show or not, but um, anyway. So let's look at Abbott. Are you, and I'm just going to ask a little specifically, specifically, specific question. Are you going to be caught up in this Paxton stuff. Hear yes again. I didn't hear yes again. I just heard yes. Okay. Greg Abbott. Greg Abbott. Let's just do a 411 on you. And the next 
six months. What's going on next six months? Ooh. He's got the Queen of Swords flying out. First card of the deck. And another new truth. So look at this. So this Ace of Swords, it's not pointing up. It's pointing down. And it feels like, excuse me, it feels like it's almost a selenite sword um, that will reveal some things. Certainly this new moon that we're dealing with, is it new moon? Full moon. We're letting go of a lot of stuff. And a lot of stuff is being revealed. This queen of swords. I think something new is going to be coming out against Abbott. It's got a little bit of the judgment in it. This deck is a little shiny, um, a little bright, but it's got uh, some judgment at the base of it. In the past, as it relates, is his magician ability to, to not be held accountable. And at the top of the reading is the Six of Cups. In this deck, it's to me, it's all about secrets. Now, the Six of Cups is going back to a simpler time. But in this deck with this imagery, it's going back to a simpler time when you could get to communicate between two people, old friends, and it's just like, it's good, it's warm, it's, it's fuzzy. But he's in the bubble of silence. Maxwell Smart, calling on his shoe. Um, Kona Silence, Greg Abbott, Four of Pentacles. He is <laughs> in, th dang, I'm, I'm cold just looking at that. He is left out in the cold. He's hanging on to his money. Um, I think this is about money, about him hiding some money, and I think that's going to come out in this Ken Paxton mess. Is it a mess for us? Nah, it's not really. It's a mess for him, though. Um, I'm glad that they're doing this. I think, I think Abbott is going to get caught up in it. I think he's going to have some legal issues with it, especially with that Queen of Swords right there. Yep. And um, and something new is going to come out. And it's going to put him in the cold. Speaking of cold, Ted Cruz. Get me to Cancun, please. Ted Cruz, are you going to get caught up in the Ken Paxton? Because he came out on Twitter or something. Said something. Trumpy. Ted Cruz, are you... Let's do the 411 on Ted Cruz for six months. Using my fountain card. Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz. Cards don't like Ted Cruz either. They're like, do we really have to? And they're like, all like not shuffling correctly. Ted Cruz. Here we go. Ooh, Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, first off the bat. So we got something that's coming at him pretty quickly. And in this deck, it's coming to a head. It looks like the, the bottom two are like railroad tracks. Something's on track to bring it to a conclusion. And that's kind of where we are in this astrological um, time frame, as much as I understand that. It's that we are bringing things 
we are bringing all these wands together, all these wands of information together, and they're coming in to a central point where we get to see maybe the sun and illumination. Ted Cruz. It's being covered or challenged by the Eight of Swords. Eights, eights, eights. Let me see if I can pull up something real quick with eights. I got, I got my little cheat sheet here. Eight, eight, eight. Numerology eight. You guys are probably going, I know, I know. The eights mean blah, 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 blah. There it is. Eights. Movement, action, change, regeneration. Um, accomplishment, attainment. But not with this card. So there is, you know, with that Eight of Swords, we're just getting, it, it's a restriction card. It's not a movement card at all. So anyway, I didn't get much information from that eight thing for me in this reading with Ted, Cru Ted Cruz. I got this is movement. This is fast movement. This is coming. This is restriction. So information, wands are information. Swords are truth. He's limited in the truth coming from all this information. At the base of the reading, yeah, he's off to Cancun. Again, the chariot. He wants to go. Get me out of here. In the past, as it relates, is the Knight of Coins. So this is And when I look at this, the Knight of Coins, the coin is, is coming into the light here. So the Knight is moving from the shadows into the light. I'm trying to make sense out of this so much, that this reading with the movement. And I really feel when I flip this over, even though it's a slow moving night, right? There's some financial issues that will be coming to light fast with this Eight of Wands. At the top of the reading, another cone of silence. But in this deck, we have the lovers. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's talking about how he's trying to keep a bubble around this. He's trying to keep it so that things don't get out of control, you know? He and his buddy Ken Paxton, and I don't, I, I don't know. I, I'm sure that they hang out and they do things, and they're good old boys. Um, that's at the top of the reading. Is that bubble gonna per pierce? We've got some new information coming out with the Queen of Wands. So yeah, I think. I think so. Um, I just pulled six, but I'm just going to pull the rest of them, see if I get any more clarity. Uh, no, it, it's there's information coming out. There's more stuff that's going to be, um, be um, unearthed, I guess. Is he, is he going to leave? Is he... Um, is he not going to win his next election? Very possibly because of that chariot card at the base. But it's not yet. It's not going to happen yet. So, all right. What else am I going to look at? I could, without looking at my phone, I could look at Josh Hawley in his manhood book. Manhood. Come on now, phone. But let's keep going. Um, who is this? Tools for life. Will progressive? Will the progressive movement get bigger? Dem primary. Biden. What? Dem primary. Biden will lose? Question mark. What? Well, I don't. Um, oh, I see. I remember what she was asking. She was asking if the. Pro I, I think this is what she was asking. Is the far left progressive 
So are they going to, um, mm, 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 mm. are they going to get bigger? I'll just do three on that. And, and he, here's my, my hope with that. I hope that they don't get bigger, but I hope we stay progressive. I am not for the extremes of either side. Uh, I, I think it's, I think it's wrong. It brings things to the light that maybe we should look at, but the extreme right, <coughs> excuse me, the extreme left, let's just look at the progressive movement. I think though, um, if Biden was in a primary, I think he'd win. Look at his record. Look at what he's done. And I know I hear, I'll hear people talking about um, what he had to give up in this debt issue. And boy, are we cutting it to the wire. But um, I mean, that, that whole thing with Mansion. oh my gosh. It's, it's, uh, like, oh, oh, don't get me started. Okay, I'm already started. So, um, there was a lot of things that, that I'm not happy with as far as what, um, Biden had to give up, but the Republicans could have gotten a lot more if they played a, a different hand. And so... Overall, I'm happy we're not going into default. Um, but getting back to the progressive agenda, I think that the whole movement in, in the world, we are moving towards a more progressive agenda. So, yeah, I think we are. Um, we just have the, the top-down the old white guy syndrome hanging on so tight that it feels like it's not going anywhere, but it is, it is. So, um, let's just look. Is, what, that was a convoluted little rant. Okay, progressives. Democratic progressives. I'm trying to see how she worded that again. Um, will the progressive movement get bigger? I'm just going to do three cards on it because I think it really will. Yes, we are going to come together in a celebration. Nine of Cups, the Wish card. This is really important in our evolution as um, progressives. Make sure our intention of what we're wishing for is clear. What do we really want to see? All progressive ideas, not all of them are, I don't know, are, are good, I guess. I don't know. Um, but really be clear on what your progressive agenda is and what you want. Nine of Wands, <clears throat> battling. So yeah, it, it, we are going to get this, but of course it's going to be a battle. It's, it's not going to be easy. We're going to have to defend ourselves, um, which brings it back to that clear intention. Okay. All right, all right. Dem primary, will Biden lose? I don't know. I don't see that. Dealing with feelings. Florida, any Dem stepping up to be a strong voice? I'm going to change that a little. Well, I'll, I'll throw three on it. Um, Disney, Disney stepping up to be a strong voice in Florida. Mm-hmm. Like, Ronnie, Ronnie, why didn't you talk to me? Dude, talk to me. No, I don't want him to talk to me. 
And it looks like his wife just wants to be a Disney princess, doesn't she? Is that wrong to say? Dems in Florida. Strong voices. Dems in Florida. Strong voices. And I'm hearing yes, but they're kind of being overshadowed a little bit by... Um, I shuffled these cards. I shuffled these cards. They're, they're kind of being overshadowed by, you know, the 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 government the people that are in there it's going to be an uphill battle with the nine of wands wish card wish fulfill wishes fulfilled so yes and the knight of cups so there's something that's coming forward um they're still in the shadows a little bit down there but yet there are people that are starting to talk that are starting to have a voice that people are listening to, but not quite yet. Let's look at manhood. Oh, no, that's my question. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and I'll do mine later. Oh, no, it's... Okay, let's look at uh, Alice H. Whatever happened to Nancy Pelosi's laptop? Oh no. So when I think about that laptop kind of information, there wasn't a lot of um, there wasn't a lot from when I tap in to chips and laptops and stuff. Um, it doesn't feel like there was a lot of sensitive information on it. It was scheduling information. Maybe some emails or something. Whatever happened to Nancy's laptop? Three cards. It's hidden. I got the wish card again. I stuck it in the middle of the deck. Um, it's hidden. I'll draw three clarifiers on that because is that J6 where they took the laptop? Um, but you have wishes fulfilled. And so I want to, I kind of want to know what is this tower? What is this wishes fulfilled? Tower and wishes fulfilled. What is that tower in wishes fulfilled? So there was something hidden in the laptop, maybe, or it is hidden now. And will it come out and bite somebody? What happened? What is this tower in regards to Nancy's laptop? For the Democratic Party. Three cards. What is it? Hmm. We have a transformation. Interesting, because that's what the tower is. It's a tearing down to rebuild up. Freedom and poverty. Hmm. I think this has to do with with J6. Them coming in and tearing down, trying to tear down democracy. Um, they kind of got their wish a little bit with this Nine of Cups, but they didn't get any information from it because of of this poverty card. What is this Nine of Cups in regards to Nancy's laptop? What is this Nine of Cups? What was the wish in regards to Nancy's laptop and where it is? Nine of Cups, wish, celebration. 
wealth, hard work. So it feels like to me that what, what was on Nancy's laptop was, I mean, that wealth card could be a wealth of information, um, but it's going to take a lot of hard work to get to it. And it could be all about, um, did it have any of her, her financial information on it? It could be, but if it was, it was under a secure password, so it's going to be hard to get to it. And, but it's not going to go anywhere because of the poverty card. So, I think that's what it said, right? Hard work, wealth, celebration. We're just going to leave it at that because it's chips and computers and we'll ask Elon Musk. <clears throat> well, Popo, did I talk about that? Yeah, we did talk about this. Popo caught a pedal. Will it blow this year? I'm just going to read on it again. Popo caught a pedal in Mexico City. It always has been spewing and rumbling the sleeping giant popocana petal i'm going to use um a light sear for this popocana petal will you blow your stack stack or top blow your will you go boom In the next six months, let's do that. Next six, by the end of the year. By the end of the year. Okay. I am, when, when I was shuffling this, I was seeing ash in, in the city, in Mexico City. Um, and Mexico City is, oh, I love that place. It is so bustling and thriving and every, every type of person is there. Food is amazing. Street food is amazing. Um, it's just awesome. So I would hate, I would hate that to, I would hate to see that. There is some kind of justice. Popacata petal. And then we got the Eight of Pentacles. But look at that. It looks like a little, little boom. And then you got the chariot, people leaving. So I don't, I'm not feeling, you know, huge destruction, but I am feeling um, enough that it's going to cause some people to leave. And please don't listen to me and base your decision on what I just said. Um, you know, it. this is a balance card. Balance yourself out. Make sure that you have your proper um, emergency kits. And I guess I should be talking in Spanish because that's what they speak down there. All right. All right. All right. All right. Uh, what else do we got? Did he win? We, we didn't think he did. Um, let's talk about, I want to go back to my question and then I'm going to go, end with an ET card. Um, Josh Hawley wrote a book on manhood and he, um, and his, his 
Democratic challenger, because he's up in 2024, his Democratic challenger is this guy named Lucas Coons. He's a Marine vet, and <clears throat> he's from uh, Jeff City, Jefferson City, which is the capital. Is that the capital of Missouri? Yeah. Is it? They moved the capitals when I was alive, so I get confused. I think it is. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, Because I, rem I remember seeing the Capitol building there. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, but it's it's not a big town. It's kind of a small town in Missouri. And he got John Hamm to do an ad for, for Mr. Lucas Coons and him running for the Senate and what a real man is. It's hilarious. <clears throat> He's talking about Josh Hawley doing his little, oh, I'm with you, and then him running around the Senate. Oh, I'm scared. He is a worm. The guy who, who in Missouri who um, at first supported Hawley, I think his name was Ashcroft, I think, he, um, he is now going... Worst mistake ever that I supported him, that I put my name behind that guy. <clears throat> I just see them pushing and fighting for all the wrong issues. And this, this debt ceiling is one of them. They're going to be cutting. They wanted to cut veterans' benefits. Josh Hawley is saying that in Missouri? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. All right. Um, I guess I'm using my light seer on Josh Hawley. Or maybe I should use it on Lucas. I'm going to use it on Lucas. Lucas, how's your energy right now for defeating Josh Hawley? Yeah, that's it. How is your energy for defeating Josh Hawley? In 2024, he's going to win. Listen to me now on that. He's going to win, Josh Hawley. Lucas, how you doing? You going to win? Are you going to win? <laughs> was It was not a wimpy yes that I heard. It's going to be a battle, though. Ooh. It's... Things are going to need... Things are going to start crashing down in, in Missouri. This was his reading, and the first two cards were the Five of Swords, the Battle, and the Tower. Um, this Tower card, though, there is a lot of grounding energy here in this deck. There's a lot of rebuilding transformation. And this really feels like Missouri is going through that transformation stage that just going. So my my hillbilly brother, he's not liking Holly. 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 So yeah, it's I got a piece of hair in my so, yeah, it's um, at the base of the reading is the Nine of Cups. Yay! Four of Wands celebration in the past. And the Nine of Pentacles up at the top of the reading that overshadows everything, which is listening to your intuition. He's got a good money base going on. Um, he's almost to the completion point with the Nines. And in the potential near future, He's got the high priestess. This is listening to a higher source, um, listening to your intuition, um, being being grounded and tapping into some different energy, certainly than than Holly. Just gonna keep going with six. Knight of Wands. 
a king of wands. He's got, um, yeah, it, celebration. He gonna win. Two of cups. People are gonna start really coming together with him. And the nine of wands, he, again, it's Missouri. So people are gonna be struggling with this, but they're gonna see the light. They're gonna see the light. It's interesting. I'm gonna to have to pull some clarifications. So the last three cards I got is the nine of wands. So this is him battling, but still standing, right? He's still got, um, he's not over the fence yet, but he's shining the light. He's got the hanged man. Is something going to stop his, his um, forward progress? Or is he going to have to look at something from a different point of view? And then we have the devil energy. It's this this being a puppet or addicted to something. So what is this devil energy that popped up? Because we have the tower and the devil in this reading. So something, something with, with Lucas, something with him. What is this? And when I look at the when I, when I look at the the that devil card, it feel it feels like it's a holly card, which I know. Um, but this is Lucas's spread. But it feels. Let's just see. So, I mean, intuitively, what I'm getting is that Holly is going to be pulling all sorts of tricks and, and trying to manipulate things. That's, that's what I'm feeling with it. But let me see. Just, what is this? What is this devil card? Is this for Lucas? Is he got addiction problems? Is he being controlled by something um, that needs to come out? Certainly, there's some secrets with this high priestess that we don't know about. There's something in here that... What's going on? What's going on with this stuff? And Lucas. Something is moving. Something is going to be broken down. And it's going to offer freedom. So... Via destruction, freedom. This is a destruction freedom card. It's a tearing down. This is the addiction card, but in this deck, it feels more like a puppet. It feels like, again, going back to the question, will he win in Missouri? that he has to tear down some of the addictive qualities that Missourians have, you know, wanting to be um, Republican. And a lot of people, they go, I've, I've been a Republican all my life. My dad was a Republican. My mom was a Republican, which was true in my family. Um, my my grandparents were Republican. So it it just goes down down the line. So there's got to be some kind of breakage there. And I think um, I think that's what that meant. And I I think this marine vet is the guy to do it. I think. All right. ET question. This comes from Four Paws. She better, she better still be watching. Just kidding. Just kidding. All right. Four Paws. Do animals in ETs communicate? Do animals in ETs communicate? Do 
animals and ETs communicate. I, and I'm going to ask this to, with Dr. Gale today. What I'm picking up is um, animals, especially cats, um, are aware of ET presence. Do they communicate? And I think I'm going to need to use my intuitive cards on that. But do they communicate? I'm not going to use my galactic deck. Do they communicate? Let's just see what we get. It's an interesting question. What would be the benefit of animals and ETs connecting? From a, a human 3D perspective, nothing because... But from an animal perspective, I say yes. When we tap into our um, animal spirit guides, our power animals, where do they get some of their, their awareness and their knowledge? I think it's through ETs. Whatever... And what I'm hearing is that it's it's not the ET that we are thinking it is. It's a different energy, but it's galactic. Okay, do ETs communicate? What do we need to know about uh, ETs communicating with our pets. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? If they do or if they don't. Hmm. Well, a lot of yes cards, a lot of hmm. So we have the Nine of Swords that's being crossed by the King of Cups. So this Nine of Swords card to me is, is they're not looking at them in the same way that we look at them. Um, this is a worry and, and, and scared card and sometimes they do maybe get a little scared, but mainly they're really comfortable in this. Um, we have the Two of Cups coming together. This is what I was talking about before, all that lovely rainbowish blending together. We have the Temperance also blending together. We have the Lover's Card in the potential near future. Yes, it's always... It's this partnership coming together. Um, at the top of the reading, though, there's this Two of Swords, and this is a blind choice, which I look at this Nine of Swords where her hands are over her eyes. Um, it feels like to me, and he's, his eyes are closed, it feels like they visit more in the sleep as a lot of times they come to us in the sleep. So I would say yes, yes. The next question for Paws asked, does she have, do, do um, ETs have pets? And I just heard yes, you are one of the human pets for the ETs. What? That can't be true. I didn't hear that. I'm kidding. I, I, I was kidding. All right. Do ETs have pets? That's a good question for Gail. And I think yes. Yeah. But, but, <laughs> let's take a look at how we treat our pets. 
it's that's not how they treat their pets their pets to me in my intuitive view of this they treat their pets like we should treat our pets some people like um, keep their dogs chained outside the whole time and I'm like what yeah no they they never come inside really no do they sleep in the same room with you no I don't get a sense that that is what the ETs are about let's just see let's pull some cards on it do ETs have pets what is so about ETs having pets hmm yes the Empress card they can't give birth to pets can they being challenged, covered by the King of Wands, Page of Cups, Six of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, and the four. I'm getting a lot of yes cards with this. Um, but again, it's it's also this card kind of surmises it for me. It's not how we think of pets. They got a pig flying up there they're kind of separate um it's not how we normally think with this page of cups <clears throat> news coming from unexpected sources um got the four of wands that's a yes card it's a celebration six of wands yes so um yeah they do all that for yeah they do. All right, quiet. Thank you guys for watching. It's going to be an interesting week. Hopefully you'll join us, Dr. Gale's show today. Peace and love.